Hi everybody, it's August 29, 2019. Weather, radar, pulsing, what's going on? This is Doppler radar pulsing powerfully. It's the stripping of electrons that you are seeing. I'm going to play a little bit of Dutch synths. He explains it so much better. But do you notice when this pulses very powerfully, all of our precipitation soldiers get very excited. Look at how, uh, how deep the red and orange are right as it pulses. Nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, controlling our weather, diamond balloons, nanotechnology balloons up in our atmosphere, uh, the excitement of frequencies, bringing storms to life. Man is controlling our weather, mother nature has been put into retirement. What does this mean for all life? Not just us, not just the two-legged, but the four-legged, all flying creatures, all swimming creatures, all creatures. Very dangerous. What we have been seeing throughout 2019 is the increasing use of different frequencies and different power levels. Everything has gotten so much more dangerous. I do believe the blue is plasma. South Carolina, Anderson, South Carolina is where I live. Upstate South Carolina, the creation of weather. We never saw, uh, like, just numerous precipitation dots erupt out of nowhere and come together and create storms. Now we're seeing it. And any adult must look at all of this that is taking place. This is all nanotechnology, artificial intelligence controlling our weather. Look how they all form right on the coast, right at the border. I'm going to get into uh, some of the weather that has taken place overnight and uh, weather to come, but I am really, I'm tired. I'm tired of this and I'm tired. Um, look at this thing, Oklahoma storm it, and it, the speed, you know, the thrust of what you are seeing right here is quite extraordinary. I have on my playlist weather modification videos, 269 of them, showing all of the different ways in which weather can be created by man. And I recently posted a video about nanotechnology, uh, reading from a military document, nanotechnology in use and they talk about the thrust the thrust so please don't leave comments yeah claiming I'm crazy because it only reveals how unbelievably stupid you are what it reveals is that you have not done any research and you think your opinion is well, it, it equals facts, evidence. It doesn't. It doesn't. I want you to listen to just a few minutes of Dutch since, but I will also post below confirmed scalar weather modification dual beams cause instant storms. But I'm going to play a few minutes. Listen to what he is saying about the creation of these what we used to say were harp rings. And what you are seeing is not the perfect circle, but this is Doppler radar pulsing powerfully. 
and Dutch Sins explains what's going on uh, far more eloquently than I do, that's for sure. Explaining how it forms, why it forms, and that it's not just at heart, it's any high frequency pulse that's targeted. Now, high frequency pulses occur from NEXRAD radar stations in pulse mode. Normally, radar operates in the microwave band, so in the gigahertz, but it pulses in the megahertz bandwidth, which overlays and coincides with the same megahertz bandwidths that they've used at HARP and other high frequency facilities to generate these plasma rings. And this is visible. This is actually happening up in the upper ionosphere. And they describe it as an upside down top hat shape that reaches down from the ionosphere into the upper atmosphere or lower ionosphere. And that's what we see here. Compare here of the HARP rings from radar stations to the HARP rings from HARP. And these are smaller, of course, and they're less powerful. That's why we're not seeing actual visible plasma form off of this down here to the south at the radar stations. But the effect produces an actual wind rotation above the transmitter. There's actual excitement that happens. Particle exchange, electron cascade, storm formation. And we've documented this over and over again. For instance. OK, so you can listen to the, um, to the full video by clicking on the link below. But that's essentially what you are seeing here. An electron cascade, excitement taking place from Doppler radar. Did you hear him say the excitement can create wind? So I want, first of all, what's going on here? All right, now it's sunny again. And earlier this morning, well, it was this. Come on. Ah, great. <laughs> okay, so. This was at I think 1230 12:30 You see the microwaves right there <clears throat> and you see the fabulous geoengineering taking place, but white clouds, and we had uh, squared clouds, but blue sky, right? Okay. With the gray up against the smoke cloud, yes, I have a video on that playlist, how they create artificial clouds. And that's what you're looking at right now, an artificial creation of cloud. Well, then, not too long afterwards, suddenly, we have rain. And computer slow, yes. That is what happened after the rain. We had thunder. We have rain, but we don't have massive rain. Uh, and now we're back to blue skies. Where did this come from? It just occurred. I mean, it just erupted like we see happening. the creation of storms. And this is taking place all over the country. What happened on Long Island? Partially collapsed, oh. cars on Long the volume Island. thing is driving me nuts, guys. 
It's driving me friggin' nuts. I can't get videos to play anymore uh, with consistent volume. Packing strong winds and heavy rain tear through the tri-state area. Luckily, no one was hurt. This morning, many are still without power as the cleanup begins. CBS at New York's Andrea Klein Thomas is in Farmingdale with more. Andrea? Cindy, I want to show you the damage is extensive. Go ahead and take a look. But there's just as much gratitude. Many of these cars belong to employees who work overnight at the lab next door. We're told many of those employees usually sit in their cars while on break, but they didn't last night when the wall began to collapse around 930. Again, thankfully, no one was injured. Now, this all happened at Chris Ray Printing Company. They print pharmaceutical labels, among other things. You can see the boxes and other items are now exposed. Firefighters had to make sure the structure was stable enough before leaving. But it's still an unbelievable sight to employees from the lab next door. But now they're stuck trying to figure out what's next. We just heard like thunder and lightning and then all of a sudden people are coming in screaming, you know, check your cars, a uh, building collapsed and we walk out and this is what we see. It looked like something out of a movie. <laughs> You know, seeing your car under a whole bunch of rubble like that, it's scary. Yeah, well, guess what? Uh, our military, 2025 technology abstract. This is taken from a military document. They have an earthquake weapon. That earthquake weapon uses ultrasonic or acoustic frequencies. Ultrasonic, acoustic frequencies are the extremely low frequencies. What you see all the time in these storms, this is, you see this very defined pulsating line coming from the Houston area all the way on up to the Fort Worth, Dallas area, though Dallas is a little bit further east, but that's an extremely low frequency. Ah, uh, yes. Southern California, extremely low frequencies emitted. And these are pretty much raging all the time. So, the extremely low frequencies and the high frequencies coming out of Doppler radar are very dangerous. Very dangerous. What can they do? They can destroy runways, buildings, bridges. Weapon will generate a very strong acoustic wave that causes structures to resonate and thereby destroy them. Roads, bridges, searing off, searing off the edge the only one side of a building and that doesn't beg questions in people's minds what else long island nassau suffolk county border um if you watch the nanotechnology it very often goes along the border of states or it stops at the border right here along the coast of Florida. And very often it is, you'll see these little blips of precipitation soldiers is what I call them. They come out of nowhere and then they begin to connect with one another to bring about big storms. So, um, man, all right, extremely low frequencies, Gwen Towers. This is a very powerful, extremely low uh, transmitter site, extremely low frequency transmitter site in Cutler, Maine, military. But why do we have these Gwent Towers all over? They line our interstates, and if you have been paying attention, our meteorologists on mainstream media very often say 
the storms along Interstate 85, 80, 91, whatever. Because the Glen Towers are lining our interstates. And they're not only in, on the interstate, but they're all over. These things are very dangerous. They emit extremely low frequencies through the ground. Ah, frequencies resonate. Buildings can be uh, brought to a vibration condition, vibration state. If they vibrate an area a little bit too much, the side of a building, brick building, can literally fall. And yes, there are high power, extremely low frequency radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating from our Nexrad Doppler radar stations. The high frequency heating of the ionosphere can cause earthquakes, cyclones, supercell thunderstorms, and hurricanes anywhere. They're land okanes now. How many severe weather events do we have now that have these hurricane winds? Never saw that before. We are now seeing that over and over and over again, and it's creating an awful lot of damage, but it can also create localized heating. Oh, heat waves, heat waves, heat waves. And then, of course, what do we hear? We hear the climate change hysteria from mainstream media and our government officials and our Hollywood stars. Climate change, global warming, oh my God. And nobody wants to look into man creating heat waves. And there's a lot of methods to do that. And yes, I do have videos on the creation of heat waves, the uh, several methods that they can create these heat waves. You had, uh, I, uh, I want to show you just a little bit more damage that occurred on Long Island. Trees are down and in some places the power is still out, all because of a fierce storm that blew across Nassau and Suffolk last night. Kevin BC has more on the cleanup from Farmingdale. Well, you really don't have to look all that hard to find storm damage in some communities near the Nassau-Suffolk border. That includes right here in Farmingdale, where this tree came down last night. Take a look. You can yeah, take a look at that tree. Now, the woman whose property this is on, she said it's 80 years old, this tree, and she said it just came down. Do you see roots here? No. Because of all of the geoengineering, the toxic uh, chemical heavy metal cocktail, aluminum especially, well, they spray it in the air, uh, the atmosphere, what happens? It comes down. It is destroying trees. That cocktail is destroying the roots of trees. Look at, this tree is green. This tree is green. We see this over and over again. Nobody is noticing how diseased are their trees. You just, you have a beautiful tree that turns green, fungal disease, and nobody is, look, I'm from New York City, okay? I didn't grow up in an area, uh, you know, uh, trees, well, okay? <laughs> but I'm noticing something different. The sidewalk, the tree just topples over. There are hardly any roots. These roots should be incredibly deep and that tree, if it was healthy, would not have come down. You can see the roots ripped from the ground. This sidewalk is just torn apart. And the tree then came down into this fence and slammed right into this house, damaging part of it. And you know what? This is just one example of the trail of destruction that strong storm left behind. In fact, another tree was blown over in North Babylon you can see there that the roots are so large that they shoot about 10 feet into the sky. Okay. The roots are so large that they shoot 10 feet into the sky. What is he talking about? The roots 
Is he thinking that these are the roots? Okay. I don't even get what this man is talking about. Um, roots shoot into the sky 10 feet. The roots are so large. All right. Are people just saying things like whatever pops into their mind, just say it, and nobody questions what they're hearing? Uh, does he, has he been instructed to say that? Because we're seeing so many trees come down now. There are no roots. So just say that they're so high, they stretch 10 feet into the, the sky. Um, I don't know. You tell me if I am not like seeing something that's there. Hi. And in East Farmingdale, the facade of this building was completely torn off. To create these storms, they use extremely low frequencies. Extremely low frequencies can take down one side of a building, a brick building, because of the resonance factor. All right, 5.0 again in California, where they had the earthquakes in July. Depth, two thirds of a mile. What we used to refer to as harp earthquakes, shallow earthquakes. That was a signature of a harp earthquake, 10 kilometers or 11, 12 kilometers deep. Look at how shallow that is. And you see, and I have taken captures of the extremely low frequencies set off in Southern California that can bring about earthquakes. Did you see this big government Department of Energy, EPA, have come out with your Energy Star recommendations for your thermostat. 78 degrees while you're home, 82 uh, while you're sleeping, 85 when you're not home. These are recommendations now, Agenda 2030, those international standards, it will be mandated soon. Oh, smart meters. So if you say F you, EPA, Department of Energy, I am keeping my thermostat at 72, real time data from your smart meter will alert the authorities that you have your thermostat at 72 and it's not at 78. You will get fined. It will be expensive. If you are a repeat offender, you'll be jailed. Your home will be taken away. We're implementing a very evil, mean world. 11,000 birds slaughtered from a Montana hailstorm. Really? Look at the, this is hard. Pelicans, double crested Cormorants, I'm not sure if I've pronounced that right. 70 mile per hour winds. Superstorm, thunderstorm, killed and maimed. More than 11,000 waterfowl fall, waterfowl and wetland birds at the Big Lake Wildlife Management Center, west of Malt. Super cell thunderstorms, they create with dangerous frequencies. 11,000 did not die from a hailstorm. They died because of the frequencies in use. And nothing upsets me more than to see the vulnerable get so hurt and killed off by those who really should be protecting the vulnerable, the children, the elderly, and the non-human species. Well, 
we see this over and over and over again. The winds that Dutch since mentioned. All our stuff is getting blown away and uh, I'm trying to save all the work that we put into it. Howling winds and strong rain battered Clemson yesterday evening as Esso Club employees fought the storm to try and hold down their event tent. And then it happened. The bigger tents that we had installed that morning kind of just took off. The tent went airborne and took two employees with it. Just hold on, honestly, just where are we dropping, boys? One girl was dragged several feet into the air and slammed the table, knocking her to the ground. Another employee, Samuel Foster, lifted well above the roof of the SL Club and thrown to the side of the building, hitting the gutter and landing hard. It took a second before it to register, but then I'm like 20 feet in the air, and all I could think was, I gotta land on this roof. EMS was spotted to the scene, and luckily, Samuel was able to walk away from the accident but had to get stitches above his left eye from where his head slammed the gutter. We're told the girl's recovering from her injuries as well. Uh, I'm really thankful for uh, God for looking out for me there. Um, All right. Winds. You have a tropical storm that is developing right off the coast of Florida. This has been an open article on my computer for a while. They keep updating it. Just in, disturbance on Florida's doorstep has 90% chance of development. Sorry guys, it's getting kind of noisy here, but it was, when I first checked like an hour ago, 60. Then it became 70. Now it's 90% chance. It's developing right smack off the coast of Florida. Yeah. Man is creating it. And Virginia, North Carolina, look out. Look out. I will link below to everything. Look, you know, <laughs> it's, this is really I know that it's getting hard for a lot of you. It's getting very hard for me. There are so many things happening at the same time that are, well, let's just say it's a disturbance, a disturbance on our doorstep that is very difficult to just keep pushing it at bay, to not let it affect you, yada, yada, yada. But when you see, when you see so much destruction, man, it's, and nobody is questioning, 11,000, 11,000, a hailstorm, winds that literally lift these kids up into the air, slamming them into roofs, and come on, please. You know, it's like you're desperate for people to just simply beg, it, it, just to ask questions, please, just look at it. Don't let these authoritative sources do the thinking for you. Please, you just so want to shake people and get them to start thinking for themselves again.